is your boy Zombrex, and today um, we're, we're gonna. I'm gonna show you guys how to paint some uh, faces. We're gonna do a little uh, season one expired, well, inspired type of deal. So I really love the spinning chair, anyways. So in the next scene, you guys are gonna see me uh, working on. Uh, you know, basically, you get the point, guys. You get the point. My, my brain scrambled. I have to go to work in like few hours so uh, uh, I'll see you guys in the next scene so what a bang what a boom catch you next in like a minute nah I'm playing whatever see you guys later alrighty guys we're back and today we gonna show you how to do these faces so I bought these paint markers way long ago this is what I used for my eye uh, the eyebrows on the engines it's aka this little paint marker you can get it at walmart it's the ultra fine as you can see it's this ultra ultra fine right there bam it's a painters whatever and then this is like for like bigger details this is what i'd use for like masking up random things i need to do or whatever um this is just a little white of a sharpay i used to have like the actual paint marker of that for that so First, we're gonna start off with, you know, the mouth, cause you know, we gotta, these boys gotta speak and smile. So we gotta make sure we got white. So boom, white's already there. So usually I would look at reference pictures, but I already know the concept I wanna go with this face. And we'll get it all done, hopefully pretty fast. It doesn't have to be perfect because, you know, you got your magnificent thumbs and fingers to uh, clean up the mess. So that's what you do, paint the face, or your little tea. You get what I mean, his little smile, his beautiful Indian smile. Um, get it all done nice and make it look like a little, like the boy smiling, as you can see. Boom. Look how cute that is, you go. Oh wait, no, that's this way. Like that, bam. Um, so yeah, um, let's see, so, at this point of the video, I, I'm gonna ask you guys, how was your day? And I'll try my best on the comments to actually respond to you guys. I know, I really need to make a live stream, and so I can just live stream and answer questions live to you guys, but I haven't, so, my bad, I'm sorry, I apologize, so, how was your guys' day? You guys are doing great? And it's great to see you guys on the <laughs> video and on the live. But now the eyebrows. So, as you guys can see, I'll put my white hand. As you guys can see how fine this little tip is. It's very ultra mega fine. So once I start, I kind of just start with the bottom. And kind of just go along. So like that. So now you got a line. Then you kind of just go like this and start slowly raising it up until you get this nice little arch. Because, you know, Thomas has some nice little arching eyebrows. I don't even know if that's a real word. So boom, you get one eyebrow done. We're going to do the other. Get to look at the angle that you're doing it because you got to remember that if you do it a little odd, it's gonna look a little odd, my guy. So, we're gonna keep going till we get this really satisfying, cause you wanna keep going till you think these look like good eyebrows. So, don't be scared to mess up. You can always sand it back down and redo it. And yeah, so the next part, we're gonna do his mouth open. It's not gonna be a pure smile because pure smiles are kind of lean faces to do, in my opinion. I mean, yes, I do have a Thomas face that has a pure smiling face, but uh, for this face, oh yeah, also you guys, this is a 3D printable face that I had acquired. There's multiple faces I can 3D print and they're custom made and I had a custom drill out where the eye neck would go. But let's get this little mouth uh, done. So now you wanna attack it from the best angle that you can get up in there and not try to ruin everything. 
You want to start out really thin and start going along, making your border lines. Just keep on going. Don't make it pixely or anything. But you want to get it where it's like really thin like that. So now you can start working your way up slowly. Let's see. Now I can try to make it look decent enough. There we are. But bam, what a boom. And then let's try to fix that where it gets thinner. So boom. So now we got that. And honestly, I think it's a little too much teeth in my opinion. So we're going to keep going a little bit more. There we go. So it looks decent enough in my opinion. The boy is smiling and he looks like he's chuckling and he's a little bit innocent. So now usually what you would do is hit it with a matte coat once obviously it dries and everything. So it gives it that nice face prop look type of deal. I mean, like how I did James. It came out pretty decent when I did James way back. And this is a resin print one, so not a resin print. This is a actual resin cast of the face cast ones from Thomas Take Merch. And then this, this face right here is just a 3D model. As you guys can see in some areas where imperfections happen. But you can tell definitely on the back side when it was 3D printed. By the layer lines and all that. And then obviously where the structural supports are. Um, now, basically, let's uh, adjust the camera a little bit now since I can show you a little bit more. So, right now we have it on Thomas. On the season one model, let's move the, the magic railroad around. But all right, let's see. This here we'll adjust the eyes because honestly the eyes are a little wacky right now. But let's see, we'll put it where he's looking a little bit. Let's see. I really need to finish the eye mechanism, Thomas as soon as I can. And I think that will be our next video, honestly, in my opinion. Oops, my bad for hitting the camera. But let's see. Since I really don't have the face and the eyes adjusted, it's the best it's gonna do because I don't wanna spend all the time like working on it, trying to get his eyes in the best position. But as you guys can see right there, the boy is a happy boy. He's smiling. He's really happy. Smooth face, boys. And then James over there. He is Cherie. He's Cherie. Anyways, guys, um, we're gonna go on to the next scene of the outro, basically, of me closing out this video. So, see you guys in thy next scene. Hey. Look at this. We're learning so much with the boys. Anyways, this is Zombrix, and I'm really glad you guys are watching this video and making my day a little bit better and stuff. And also, oops, there goes the roof. <laughs> um, I wanna thank all of you guys for watching the video and happy Valentine's Day to you. It should be released before Valentine's Day is over. It may be late when Valentine's Day is gonna end, but we both wish you a uh, happy Valentine's Day. And uh, my moderator on the live stream, welcome to the team. We're gonna have you more featured hopefully soon. So welcome to the team. Wow. Anyways, I want you guys to have a great day. Be amazing. Do what you guys wanna do but also be what you want and do what you want. Peace.